Welcome Narisha Technologies, this is Mahesh. Uh, in my previous video, uh, I given some brief idea on what is Kotlin, how to create a Kotlin variables, how to create a functions in Kotlin, how to create a constructor in Kotlin we discussed in the previous previous videos, right. So in this video, uh, we will discuss the inheritance concept, we will discuss how to create a class and how to inherit the, how to inherit from other, other class as well as how to create an interface, how can you provide the implementation class for the interface. So, I mean, I will uh, not explain what is inheritance here because I am assuming that you already have some the object oriented programming concepts, just I am giving some, in this video series, I am giving some brief overview on Kotlin, okay. So in Java, we are having a keyword called extends and implements keyword we are having in Java, right. Extends keyword we use to inherit the class, implements keyword we are going to use to provide the implementation for an interface. But here, we do not have an extends keyword and we do not have an implements keyword. Instead of extends or implements, instead of extends or implements, we are going to use, uh, simply we are going to use this colon symbol we are going to use. Simply we are going to use what? The colon symbol we are going to use. We do not have a extends or we do not have a implements keyword. So simply we are going to represent with what? With colon symbol we will represent. Let us see here. I'm creating a class I am creating, a new product I am creating. So inheritance, inheritance test is a project name I specified. In this project, under this SRC folder, create one, a Kotlin file, a new Kotlin file or class, specifying a file name called test is a file name I specified. We know that for execution, we had to create one main function, we had to create array of what type of data you want to hold, string. So you create a main function we created, so execution is going to begin with this main function. So to check that inheritance property, first I am creating one class I am creating called vehicle is a class I am creating. I am creating a class called what? Vehicle is a class I created. In this vehicle class, I am creating one variable I am creating here, var, you can specify number of wheels of type, it is an integer type. And later we want to initialize this, you can make it as a, so we create a class we created called vehicle is a class we created, number of wheels is equal, number of wheels is equals to, it is an integer type, we specified null, we specified initially. Later we want to initialize this variable, we want to initialize later, right. Fine, I am creating one more function I am creating, I am creating a function called display or the vehicle contains a behavior called travel, I am providing some description I am providing, just for testing purpose I am printing some message, okay. So I created one function I created called travel is one function I created and we created one variable called number of wheels of type in teaser type we specified, okay. This one class we created called vehicle class. I am creating one more class I am creating called bus is one more class I create, I am creating, I am creating one more class called what? Bus class and simply this bus class is a child of vehicle class. So simply we are going to use the inheritance property by using the colon, we can specify the class name, we can specify vehicle class. Bus class is a child of what? Vehicle class. I hope you are aware of this, in inheritance concept, uh, before going to create the object for the child class, in inheritance or it is going to create the object for the parent class object also will be create, right. In inheritance, before going to create the object for the child class, it will create the object for what? Parent class object also it will create. So here it is telling that uh, you are using your inheritance concept you are using here, but which constructor you want to call you have to specify explicitly you have to specify here. In case of Java, uh, if you do not specify anything, if you do not specify the default no argumented constructor will call. But in Kotlin, if you are using an inheritance, which constructor you want to call explicitly we have to specify. So if you are calling the no argumented constructor, if you are calling explicitly we have to specify vehicle off, okay. Now we specified bus which is a child of what? Vehicle, vehicle off is specified and we are calling the default constructor we are calling in the vehicle class. Class we can we have not created a constructor, right? Same like a Java, every class contains a default no argumented constructor here in Kotlin also. Okay. We are calling the default no argumented constructor we are calling here. But still error is not resolved still. It's showing this type is final, so it cannot be inherited. So same like how we are having private, protected, public, like these kind of uh, access specifiers, here also 
uh, we are having some keywords like open kind of keyword is there. If you want by default the class whatever you are creating uh, will be applied as a final, uh, will be as a, you can say as a, uh, you cannot overwrite that, I cannot overwrite that class, you cannot inherit that class, you cannot inherit because by default class will be applied with final. If you want to create the child class, if you want to create for this class, we had to declare as open we had to declare. So, if, we, if you declare the class as open, so it, it like a public kind of thing, we can override, we can create a child class, we can create for that class, we can create, if we specify the class declaration as open. So, we create a function we created in the vehicle class as well as we create a variable we created, now we create a bus class which is a child of what? Vehicle class and make sure if you want to create a child class, if you want to create any for class and make the class declaration as open, then only we can create a child class we can create, I mean sorry. We can inherit, we can inherit that class, we can inherit into child class, okay. Now, let us see here, what I am doing is I am calling, first I am creating the object for the bus class first, where I specified b is equals to, I am creating the object I am creating for the bus class object I am creating, right. I created the object I created for bus class object I created. I'm calling b dot, B dot travel method I am calling. So, we are able to access the B dot travel method as well as we are able to access the number of wheels also we are able to access, right. Uh, are you created this, the travel method and number of wheels method are you created in the week, uh, in the bus class are you created? No, we have not created any, uh, the variables and methods we are not created in this class. But how we are able to access this travel and number of wheels? How we are able to access is nothing but we are inheriting the vehicle class. That is why you are able to access the vehicle class, the data and behaviors you can access from the child class, right. Now, you can see here, whether this travel method and number of wheels method is able to access or not, let us see. I told you here, right, here in the beginning only I told you, uh, just we are understanding the syntax, Kotlin syntax. I am not explaining what is inheritance and all now, right. Just we are discussing the syntax, okay. So, by using the vehicle, we can travel. So, in Java we are going to use the extends keyword we are going to use, but in Kotlin we are going to use what? The colon symbol we are going to use, that is one change. The other thing is nothing but in case of Java directly you can specify the class name, that will be fine. But here we had to specify the default constructor we had to call, whether you want to call the default constructor or parameterized constructor you want to call, you have to specify here. The other thing is nothing but if you want to create any child class, if you want to create for this class, make the class declaration as a open. What about interface? Let us say for example, uh, I am creating an interface I am creating. The interface will be created by using a keyword called interface keyword. I am creating interface with the name called insurance is the interface name I am creating. I am creating interface called what? Interface insurance is the interface name we are calling. In this insurance interface, let us say I am creating one function I am creating, function let us say provide insurance info is a function name I am creating. Insurance is an interface, this interface contains one abstract function called provide insurance info. We do not require to mention it is a abstract function, we do not provide the body for this method will be considered as abstract function. So, function specify what is a function name, we have not applied return type we have not applied, so it will be considered as a what kind of return type, it is a void type will be considered. Now, if you any class wants to provide the implementation for this interface, so simply you can specify comma, you can specify insurance. Now, bus class is a child class for the vehicle class and bus class is providing the implementation for the insurance interface. Now, even in the interface also, like so how we use a colon keyword to extend a class, if any class is providing the implementation for an interface also, we have to use the same keyword you can use colon. Now, bus class is a child class of the vehicle class and it is providing an implementation for the insurance interface. So, definitely you will get an exception because we know that if any class is providing the implementation for an interface, then the class has to provide the implementation for all the abstract methods. So, simply you can click on the error mark, it will suggest you what is the solution, implement numbers, right, provide the implementation for that abstract function, you have to provide the implementation, okay. So, the class creation syntax, interface creation syntax is same as it is, the difference is nothing but we do not have extends and implements keyword, okay. So, this is about how to create a class and how to create an interface in Kotlin, okay. Thank you.